Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I'm continuing my playthrough of Mass Effect 3. And where we last left things off, it was admittedly a bit of a downer. We uh, went to Thessia and uh, things did not go well. We had Reaper problems and then we had Cerberus problems. And then we had our data stolen. So we got hacked. We got shot at a whole bunch. There were those creepy flying reaper robot bird things that I hate so much. So it was uh, overall a very good time. So I imagine we'll be starting off things tonight back on the Normandy and we're gonna do just a quick runabout, see how everybody's feeling. Probably not great, <laughs> but we'll see if we can get started on Arya's DLC missions tonight. Maybe we'll finish it, fingers crossed. I can't make any promises at this point, but We'll see how far we get, because we did run a little bit late in the last stream. But hopefully you're doing well on your end. Played a little bit more Fire Emblem Engage today, which was... <laughs> managed to fumble my way through some more maps, which is always a good time. And I finally unlocked the shop where I can finally get gifts for people, so that means... I can start making those social link connections, finally. I've been just fumbling my way through it up until now. So now I can actually start getting people gifts that they'll actually like, instead of just giving them pretty pebbles and hoping for the best. <laughs> so give folks a little bit of time to kind of file in. Hey there, Gapsby. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well on your end tonight. Things are going well. I'll admit, I haven't got up not to too much more since the last stream. Watched a little bit of Futurama. I watched uh, Red Letter Media put out their video talking about the last little bit of Star Trek Picard Season 3. So that was like the first thing we did this morning. We watched it because we always have to know what Mike and Rich think of it. Doing well on your end. Glad to hear it. I will say, um, it was a cold one this morning. I don't like that it's this cold this close to May in Canada. Not a big fan of that. That's the thing. Something I've been kind of noticing, I don't know if this is like an Ontario thing or not, but our summers have been going longer. Like it, it takes a little bit till like the cold really starts to set in, but that means winter and wintry weather is like more drawn out. I feel like, because I feel like when I was growing up, the cold weather is snow, like by early April, you were good. Like you were set. Nowadays, man, you might have to wait till May to take off your winters. Your winter tires might have to stay on. Ooh, picked up Metroid Prime on the Switch. Never played it. Big fan of the Metroidvania games. Ooh, have you fired it up yet? I, you know what? I will say I didn't play Metroid Prime either, but I did hear about the, uh, like the remaster that came out, and I've heard good things. I haven't read into it too deeply. I don't think I've ever played a Metroid game, actually. I think the closest I've gotten to playing a Metroid game was playing as, as Samus in Super Smash Brothers, but that's pretty much it. And even that it was Zero Suit Samus because I like how light she is. She's so quick. You know, the Smash Brothers was a thing for me. Like, as somebody who didn't play, like, a ton of games growing up, Smash Brothers was a way for me to learn about a lot of the different franchises out there. I think, like most people in North America, I'd never heard of Fire Emblem pre-Smash Brothers. <laughs> hey there, Kronos. You've also never played Metroid. Okay, so it's not just me. Hope you're doing well tonight, Kronos, where you are. So far, very good. I expect it to be a lot harder because I played Super Metroid in the game. I was gonna say, did you play Dread? I heard Dread was also kind of a an ass kicker as well. I heard that one could be uh, a little unforgiving in some spots. I was about to say, I've noticed that some of the certain Nintendo properties have started to get a bit harder now. Like, it's the difficulty level's a bit higher, but I don't think that's true. I think even when I was a kid, I remember there were certain games where you'd have to, like ask your parents or an older sibling to help you out with certain levels. I remember that being a common thing when I was growing up. Haven't played Dread. Okay. I've only seen a bit of gameplay here and there. I haven't tried it myself. I've heard pretty good things about that one too. 
but it reminded me just along that thought of like deceptively difficult Nintendo games. I, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I realized I was, I think I may mention this on stream before, so apologies if I'm repeating myself, but I remember having to utilize a lot of the same like kind of like boss dodging mechanics that I used when I played Elden Ring playing a Kirby game, which is kind of a funny thought, like just in terms of aesthetic, you, I don't think you can get any more opposite than those two. I mean, depending on how you play, you can play a cutesy character in Elden Ring. You can, you can dress your character up in such a way that it's cutesy, but using the same mechanics for both games was a little bit of a tonal whiplash there. And admittedly, I played, what's it, the super hard arena mode in Kirby and the Forgotten Land? I don't think I ever beat it. I tried. I, I gave it a few tries. I just, I couldn't. And it's like, you have to go through like a whole tournament thing to get to it. You can't just like hop back into the boss fight. So it's like, ugh, do I want to go through another like 15 to 20 minutes going through all of this again, just so I can give this another go? Maybe one day. One day. Super Mario 64 called Star Road. It's fun, but at times frustratingly difficult. Not an official Nintendo game, of course. Yeah. I've heard that Nintendo's been cracking down a lot on those lately. It's, that's been the rumor around the internet, anyway. I've been hearing a bit here and there. I, my boyfriend's been updating me a bit on it as well. Seems like they're really cracking down on a lot of, like, ROM hacks and things like that. Yeah. Like, it's... I, I understand they want to be careful with their IP, especially because they're, like, a family company. But... I don't know. It's it's the internet. You can only fight it for so long. Main challenge in Metroid Prime so far is navigation. The actual shooting's very easy, but I'm told it's because the remake made the controls less clunky. Oh boy. Hey there, evening Texas. Evening to you as well, Texas. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight where you are. We're just gonna get ready to kick things off. We're gonna be making our way around the ship to see how everybody's doing, and then... We're going to go see Arya and see if we can take a crack at this DLC. I don't know how it's going to go. And apologies. Okay. Sorry, I've been getting some messages on some personal life stuff, so I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything I had to check up on before we could officially get started. So I think we're good to go. So we'll, uh... I I'm getting the feeling the vibe around the ship. Not going to be super great. <laughs> But hopefully we'll get a victory in with Arya, maybe, and then that'll kind of raise spirits. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, actually, where are we at? Oh my gosh, look at that bar. <laughs> I mean, for as much as we suffered that defeat on Thessia, this isn't too bad. This, this is pretty good. We're going to have that almost maxed out, I feel like. Hey, buddy. Oh, they're having a little group huddle down there. What are the ladies in the in the security checkpoint gonna say? Yeah. Not after we took down that Reaper on Rad. I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way we could have stopped every Reaper on Thessia. The Asari should have jumped in earlier. I think they're not wrong. Hey there, Orange Brick. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well where you are tonight. I will say, I, I feel like most of the credit goes to chat. A lot of you have been very helpful in sort of guiding me along this journey and collecting uh, helpers in this war against the Reapers. If we don't finish that crucible soon, there won't be a galaxy left to save. Yeah, we kind of got to get a move on. An essential Metroidvania experience is getting a new ability and suddenly having to remember all the points in the map you couldn't get to before. Oh yeah, you got to backtrack. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? That's, eh, that's a little soon, Joker. In case you hadn't noticed, we just lost a few million people. This isn't the time. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on, Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. 
Like more than Elysium, where it was pretty much you versus 10,000 Batarians trying to kill you. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. I'm not gonna lie. I did not think this conversation was going in this direction. Um, I feel like this is a valid point. Uh, this is... It's... It's Shepard. I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. I couldn't leave the best pilot in the fleet behind, could I? No. Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We got work to do. Hold on just a quick second. Unfortunately, spring allergies are getting the best of me. Just a quick second. All right, I'm back. So, uh, lighthearted chat with Joker, right out the window. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. Shoot. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. No, oh, Edie's just trying to help. Both, both her and Joker are trying to help in their own way. Spring can't tell sometimes. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's it snowed recently. It's like, are you kidding me? It's almost May. How'd she kill for five assets? Yes, exactly. And welcome back to the stream, Alex. Hope you're doing well tonight. I know. I want to hear that joke too. Hello, Shepard. Nope. She doesn't want to tell it now. She's like, no, Shepard. You've made it clear you don't want to hear any of my humor at this time. Perhaps at a later date. Oh, saluting guy is here. Hello. Hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight where you are. Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteron. Uh, I've updated the galaxy map. All right, well, it's gonna have to wait because we got... We got some stuff we gotta do. We got some DLC I've been putting off for a long time. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a... Taking a s look at things. Shepard, this wasn't your fault. Thank you, Tali. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. I love the little pep talk from my friends. <laughs> hey, Ashley. I'm sorry, Shepard. You all right? I'm fine. Liara? I don't know. Okay, I'll talk to her. Thanks. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. I mean, admittedly, I feel like, like, I will talk to her, obviously, but like, also kind of I'm her ex, that might be a little bit tense. How about Shockwes? Anything from Shockwes? Take care, Commander. Nope. <laughs> I just deal cut arm cuts and bruises. I don't I don't deal with the inside wounds. <laughs> well, I guess surgery, but not like emotional. Hey. Ooh, a whole cutscene. Look at this. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. That's fantastic. That must be a weight off your shoulders. It is. Though this being a war, one burden replaces another. What happened? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? 
The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. Oh man, it's just a bad time right now, isn't it? <laughs> That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... Before a certain Turian with no romantic skills to speak of tries to cheer you up. Aww. Cheer? Coming from you? Hmm. Mood swings. Don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do. That was, that was a cute little moment. Proximity mine unlocked available in medbay. Okay. <laughs> hey there, Gen X Dad. Matt, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. Oh, uh, wait. Is Liara in her office? No, she is not. Okay. Where is she? Oh, in engineering. Oh, she's with Javik. Okay. Interesting. Those were all lies back there. Mm. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd have free- Hey, settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat. Oh, this is not going well at all. <laughs> Can't stay long. Award ceremony starts in 20 minutes. Hang until I have to put your phone away. Oh, I do appreciate it, but I understand that life stuff comes up. No worries. Enjoy the award ceremony. Are you up for anything? <laughs> is it gloating, though? I don't think it is. Like, it's not like he's... It's going to come to a head eventually. It was. Yeah. Like, uh, and obviously, like, tension is high. Everybody's really emotional right now. Hold on just a quick moment. There's a, a bit of a noise in the apartment. Just a quick second. Sorry about that. There were some loud dogs in my neighborhood and we had the windows open for a little bit to kind of air things out and I was worried it was going to get picked up on mic, so just had to shut some windows. I don't, like, I kind of, I don't know if it's necessarily gloating. It's just sort of like, I feel like Javik just kind of states things as sort of like, in his time, his people were more advanced than theirs were. But admittedly, his constantly bringing it up is gloating I feel like it's it's like a superiority thing but I feel like the stating of the truth of what the sorry history is isn't gloating in this case he's prone to it but I don't think it's applicable here per se I feel a little like sorry Liara everyone else could be losing their home plan it could happen to you too yeah it's an it's, you know, this is an instance where I think the bottom one is the right answer <sighs> You know what? I'm I'm kind of feeling you on that one too. I know I know we're Paragon Shep. I feel in this skate. Uh, mm, Lehar's gonna get really upset though. Oh, I know she's not my girlfriend anymore, but still. Yeah. Oh, I to I I can totally see that Texas. Like she came here looking for a fight of some kind. The Joker conversation for maximum tension. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I kind of wish I saved before I came in here. That way I could see how both played out. Okay. Um. God. Because I was going to be like, she's lost her 
planet Javik, but at the same time, Javik's lost his entire, like, culture and population. So, I mean, he knows how it feels, in a sense. Oh, I can definitely see that. Yeah, I'd be like, you gotta side with your girlfriend on this one. Otherwise, she's gonna really get mad about it later. You're gonna hear about it. <laughs> um... Okay, sorry, I know I have to pick. Oh, this is a really hard one to pick. Ah, uh, because I'm with... I don't think Javik did anything wrong. But I also feel like Liara... needs some kind of, like, reinforcement right now. I feel like... No, but... Liara, you may not like the truth, I had to but pick. you can't blame him for it. Besides, there's nothing to be done about it now. You're Prothean. You're supposed to have all the answers. You should have stopped this. We believed you would. Long ago, we saw the okay, potential in your people. Okay, this worked out. <laughs> Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen, but as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara Tassoni. Oh, that worked out. Okay, I'm glad I picked that one then. Oh, boy. I know, yeah, that's also very Turian. That was unexpected. Thank you. We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. Good point. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara's been a good friend to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. Javik can put aside his pride to say something nice sometimes. Sometimes. Not too often. It was good to see another of my kind. Yeah. Even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. Yeah. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself Agreed. with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. Yeah, and hey, maybe one day we can take it back. I suffered many defeats in the last war, Commander. Yeah. Let this loss be the fuel that powers your rage. Do with that memory shard? Um, you mean the the beacon that we just found, or I'm trying to? Not sure what you mean about the memory shard. For one who claims to be an expert on my people, your Asari knows very little. <laughs> Admittedly, she's pieced together what she could. Oh, um. To the right in his cabin? Um. Whoop, hello. Um. Is that gum? Is that gum? It's not something you can just trigger. Oh, that's it. Okay, that looks like five gum. I don't even know if it <laughs> looks like five gum. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so it wasn't just me. That was my first thought. I'm like, I'm looking at that design of that, and I'm like, that's five gum. I am with my own thoughts. Uh, no, I don't think we've had a conversation about it. Hopefully, we do eventually. I have to admit, I hadn't noticed it before. Alright, uh, oh! Not at their stations? Oh, they're in the stairwell? Hmm... I hope I'm not walking into something private. You have quarters for that. Oh, hello, Commander. We were 
just uh, double checking the thermal duct. I'm sure you were. Carry on. <laughs> You have quarters for this. Oh boy. Shepard. Commander. <laughs> Just as you were. <laughs> I'm sure she did. Mm. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Just taking a look at his spanner. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Oh, oh, right, yeah, they do share quarters. Wait. Javik's room? Yeah, okay. I suppose I'll check on Allers. Yeah. Have you found his story on Thessia yet? Ooh. No. I'm trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, yeah. the Citadel stock exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. I've never really been unlucky. I'm just really good at my job. All right. Yeah, I'll follow up with Liara. But I, admittedly, I've been there where you've got to break some bad news to a lot of people. And not to the scale of the audience that she's used to talking to, but it's like you need to word what you say very carefully, especially with something heavy. Commander. So I can I know where she's coming from. Gotta be gotta be careful with that sort of thing. What the heck? Is that just me or was something clipping through the wall there? Okay, let's head back to the crew deck and check on Liara. She went straight to her Ooh. cabin. She's not answering her calm. How bad? I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Noveria. Damn. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan. I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just regained my homeworld. She just lost hers. Well, I don't have any magic words. She needs time. Maybe call her later. She went straight to her cabin. I'll go talk to Liara. Thanks, Shepard. I was curious what support Tali in this case was. I didn't know if she's just like, I'm getting on the call. Garrus, go talk to her. All right. Just in case this goes sideways. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier. You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. By the way, can I just say, I do love these like interconnected conversations where it's like, Shepard's not involved at all. The characters are just having their own thing. How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization. The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along. And I abandoned my people to hunt for the Catalyst. Liara, you had nothing to do with the attack on Thessia. Nothing to do with it? I told those people on Thessia we'd save them. How many Asari died because I demanded their help? None. Shepard, that isn't true. You've been warning your people for four years, Liara. There's not a damn thing you should feel guilty about. If we move fast enough, they'll have a chance to survive this, to start again. We lost Thessia, but we haven't lost the Asari yet. Exactly. Helping the refugees. That's something I can do. It's something I owe them. I knew you'd think of something. I still need some time, Shepard. But thank you. Stasis unlocked. Yeah, like it's... I'm glad that they're exploring these big heavy moments. 
I need some time, Shepard. Totally understandable. Ooh, possible book titles. Glyph, please flag this as a list of possible book titles. When this is all over, I'd like to publish what we've learned about the Protheans. The Protheans, A Living Legacy. The Prothean Empire. The Protheans. The Last Prothean. Living History of the Protheans. I despise thinking of titles for my own academic research. Prothean Journeys. Journeys with the, Pro with the Prothean. I mean... She'll come up with something catchy. I can't disappoint... Let disappointment stop me from learning the Protheans' history. It's just as naive as thinking they were all benevolent. And I've perhaps been arrogant, judging an entire species on what little time I've had to know its sole survivor. He was hardly responsible for the skewed view I had of his people. I put forward the idea of writing a book with Javik, and to my surprise, he said he would think about it. Perhaps it's a start. Oof. I can see perhaps some in the higher-ups of the Asari not being super keen about that, especially given how religious they are, but I think it's good. Do we have new upgrades? No. Can I talk to Glyph? Nope. Hey, enjoy your day. Thank you, Glyph. This is why you're my favorite. Hopefully she's doing better now. Thanks for talking to her. Neither of us knew what to say. There's not much we can say. But being there helps. We're all in this together. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. I have to see the puppy first. Puppy. Hey there. Oh, good puppy. Reviewing our maintenance schedules one more time. Good to see you, Commander. Not a lot from Cortez. Hey, James. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. <laughs> hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. Oh, boy. You want to hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you. Ready when you are. James is ready to party. Uh, do I have anything? Oh, what was, um... Okay. So I should probably have a submachine gun that's fairly upgraded since I've got some team members that use it. Which would be the, I don't want to say the best one, but which would be a pretty good reliable one to like invest in. Because I think I have most of them using the shuriken. Shuriken, okay. Now, Locust is good? Okay. Do I have access to that here? Mm, I don't think I do. I don't see it. Shuriken Tempest. Yeah. And admittedly, like... I don't think I have a ton of options here. We've been doing okay with uh, the shuriken up until now. Procurement kiosk next to doesn't buy it. Okay. Let's see. Hmm, back one. Defense armor. Nope. Hornet to Kanawa exports. <gasps> Jellyfish! Need to have that. Is it cheap? Okay. Locust. Which one would that be under? Ah, oh, the old Carnifex. Let's see. Nope. There was? Oh, did I miss it? Eel. Just want to make sure. Ooh, Metagel capacity. Hmm. 
armor. Chest plate. No, I'm not too worried about that. I know. I gotta find it. Visor. Locust, locust, locust. Okay, either I'm missing it. Locust. Also, where's the eel? We're doing more uh, shopping tonight than I thought we were going to. <laughs> um, have I not unlocked it yet? Hornet. Oh, oh, I find it in the field. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, eel. Karshan snapping eel. Hell yeah. There we go. The aquarium is maybe complete? Geth SMG in the last one? Okay. Where is that? Shoot superconducting toroids that break apart an impact, retain an electrical charge. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. It's 11,000 credits. That's not too bad. And I can probably upgrade that a little bit. Geth Plasma SMG. Okay. Three, four. Like Pat Punisher is good too. Every fourth round is an armor piercing round. Ooh. Mm, yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Okay. That's maxed out now. I just gotta remember to equip it. Okay, so I believe that's everybody. So I'm just checking my captain's quarters because I want to see my new additions to my aquarium. I think I've fed them already, but that's okay. Oh, look at them. Got jellyfish in there. Sure, I may have destroyed the, uh, the fish tank at the sushi restaurant, but look. Life lives on in my ship aquarium. I'm so glad they didn't ruin my fish when they took over the ship. Oh, does it? Ooh, I might have to give that a try. Okay. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCom. Okay, he's available, but does he need to speak to me? Oh, boy. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Yes, trainer. <laughs> I'm getting there. All right, let's check my emails first. Ooh, that's a lot. Jacob. Shepherd, so the Normandies and Dry Dock seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me outside the arcade on the main level, if you're game. From Jack, Shep, I hear the Silver Sun Strip place has a combat simulator, and I felt like kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. Gotta. Oh, Koyat Krios. Commander, I was somewhat surprised to receive a comm call from the council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there as well as those people in the Normandy who knew my father. I understand at human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal to me. Oh, well, thank you for stopping by. Hope the rest of your night goes well, and feel free to watch the VOD when you got some time. All good. Have a good one. Night off from Liara. Shepard, I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything in particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment and decide from there. Yeah, red alert. <laughs> Ultimate email incoming? Oh... Sorry, military command. Good, you open this message. This isn't actually a sorry military command. They're busy tending to what's left of their planet. So you survived our fight on Thessia. You're not, oh. <sighs> You're not as weak as I thought, but never forget that your best wasn't good enough to stop me. 
Now an entire planet is dying because you lack the strength to win. The Legend of Shepard needs to be rewritten. I hope I'm there for the last chapter. It ends with your death. K.L. Oh, how sweet. Thanks, Kai. That's so nice. <laughs> like, I love who he's like, I'm clearly taking this personally. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now, it's the best lead we've got. In any event, good luck. Oh, he's, he's so much. He's so scummy. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I talk to Anderson? Commander Shepard. I can't wait to beat him up. I cannot wait. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> Just love I go to face him, it's just like, so we meet again, Shepard, and it's like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> oh, no worries. Don't worry about it. I was just like, I was like, oh, like, what's going on? Shepard, I heard about Thessia. Yeah. We were so close, Anderson, so damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall, and knowing it was my responsibility. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. <laughs> This'll be over soon. It better. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. Yeah, Shepard kind of needed that. Needed to talk to Dad. He had some encouraging words of just pick yourself back up and get back out there. Commander. All right, so we wanted to go to the Citadel to start Arya's. Let's see, 100% of assets recovered. Yalesa. Ooh, we do have something over on Yalesa we haven't gotten yet. Do I have gas? Yes, I do. This is probably just gas, but let's get it anyway. Oh, it's building up. Oh, there it is. Reapers eluded. Okay, I know where it is. Okay. Whoop, and then we're gonna... Yep, there it is. <laughs> That's a lot of gas, though. Come on. Faster than light jump successful. <laughs> All right. Got the gas. Oh, no, that's 100%. Okay, I think. Yeah, everything in the nebula is good to go. So, I should expect a fight. <laughs> Rendezvous with Arya's fleet. An assortment of vessels, warships, transports, and fighters flying under Arya's flag. 
let's see what this is all about. Whoop, we're just going right into it. Okay. Yeah, what does she have? Well, I can give her better than that. Accuracy and... Okay, there's heat sink. Increases damage. I don't know if this will... Okay, so does this add at all to it? Okay, capacity. Makes it lightweight. Hmm. Recoil, weapon stability. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. Shotgun. Alright, what do we got for shotguns? Accuracy. Damage. We'll go with that. Okay. Just me and Aria. <laughs> Oop. Am I gonna get more points after this since I can't really invest them in anything? Holy crap. Okay. Alright, let's. Biotic boss, let's go. Let's see, let's hear power damage by 40, health and shield power. <laughs> <Ba -dunch. laughs> Weapon damage by 20%, power damage by 40%. That's mm. the last one. Health and shield bonuses. Or her own. Ooh. Okay, so I did power damage already. So let's do weapon damage. And health and shield bonus. Shield bonus by 40%. Uh yeah, let's give her the boost. Latch onto enemies with a biotic lash to rip them off their feet, dealing moderate damage. I don't think I've seen this one before. Recharge. Damage. Damage by 30%. Force and damage of biotic detonations by 50%. Yeah, we'll go with that. Recharge speed, 35. 100% additional damage over 10 seconds. Ooh. Not causing a cooldown. Increase the time that lifted targets can be detonated. Penetrate through shields and barriers, lifting any target without armor, but with reduced force. That's pretty good. I do like I do like recharge. But that damage, that's a hundred percent damage. Here we go. Gotta get through those shields. 41 points, okay. Here, I just want to make sure I've kind of got a little bit of everything. Strip receiving increased damage protection while this power is in effect. Effective against barriers and armor. Flare. Biotic energy to unleash a huge flare that throws enemies within its range, causing massive damage. Ooh. Is it? Comes available to you after this mission. <gasps> Ooh. I'll have to see how it works. Damage and force by 30%. Impact rate. No. Damage and force. Power duration by 40%. Um, you know, I'm not... Mm, actually, hold on. Increase impact radius by 3 meters. Actually, I kind of like the duration better. Because otherwise, then it's just taking like, a little bit from everybody. Radius and damage. Ooh, okay. We got 12, so I can only get 2 more. Okay, so I think I'm going to get Flare and Carnage. Recharge speed by 30%, force damage and impact radius, combo detonation. Okay, you know, I'm going to go with that, with the recharge. Because admittedly, I don't know the proper combinations with that one. Yeah, with Flare. So Carnage, incapacitate enemies by knocking them down, increase recharge speed by 35%. Now let's go with recharge speed, just that way like we can just keep... 
knocking those out. Okay, I think we're good to go. We're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So, you commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. She's been waiting Let weeks me guess. for this. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not Let the best start to our partnership, things. Aria. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Alright, fingers crossed this goes well. If I'm not ready now, I don't know when I ever will be. <laughs> Head for the command ship. Got everything maxed out. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Wentz. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Yeah, Pilot that sounds real. Captain, pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. I was gonna say, that sounded like, uh, text-to-speech. Right. <laughs> nice and slow. Maybe the captain was a robot, I don't know. Be patient. Get as close as you can. You're not calling the shots here, Shepard. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, general. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Really? <laughs> Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. It had to be us on this one? <laughs> Everyone else cool with this? Shields gone! All systems failing! We can make it! Arya, don't be stupid! Sound the evac! Damn it! Program escape pods for the station! Let's go! Everyone yeah. out! There's no time! Not losing the Normandy again. Oh no. Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. Oh 
goody. Oh, okay, we did. <laughs> oh, we got a fight right out the bat. All right. There I go. <laughs> Shep's always gotta make a big entrance. Hope the other escape pods made it. All right, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. What I brought you for ground assault in combat. What you say goes. Oh, Arya relinquishing command. I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. All right. Um. Okay, not too bad right now. I'm back. Okay, and then there's you. Come on. There we go. And one left. Got more. Okay. Ooh. Jeez. Okay. Uh, no, nope, can't get you. Take out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Okay, I don't know if there's any other things around. But I probably should not. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Over here, Shepard. Aria to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. You're just Keep my in army case. intact here. Job. Yep. <laughs> Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Get that out of here. Okay, we got that last one. Okay, so that just rips it right from their hand. Interesting. Oop. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was anything on this side. Ooh, hello. Oh, uh, pick that up, please. Don't. Team, report in. Bray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally what? them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Nope. Okay. Oh, gotta go forward then. <laughs> Welcome. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. All right, all right. We're moving. Don't worry. Ooh, general notice. Power fluctuations continuing. To stabilize sectors 3, 14, and 15 are set for mandatory shutdown. All personnel to be reassigned. Okay. Oop. 
Oh, hello. Okay. Still got two there. Can I get a lock? Take care of that. <laughs> Getting close. Those cannons have to be stopped. Ooh. Clickable. What was that? Any others? Probably could have kept that, but. This way. Aria, I'm checking for loot. pick up stuff afterwards, but I figure while I'm here, man, they just got buckets full of ammo lying around. The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be hold, hold them off while she does her stuff. Can you... Somebody right off to the side. Oh, you. Okay. Can you take care of them? And let's get you. Oop, and we've got you. Clear. All right. Get to the controls. Doing all right. Am I turning off and then reactivating it? Is that what that is? <laughs> I mean, that would be nice. I've uh, still got Kai Lang I need to deal with. But taking, rare, taking care of the rest of these in the meantime would be nice. Systems. 
Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar door is enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. Jeez, Arya. Getting sloppy. Why don't you tell them your blood type and star sign while you're at it? <laughs> so it begins. Oh. Get it? It's old versus new. There's a good it's chance symbolic. the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Alright, what are we in for now? Bray, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. <laughs> Looks like other pod teams are causing trouble. Good. Glad we got the, the live feed going right now. Actually, yeah, I'd be curious when the last time she got to, uh, like, really fight. Because we know she is a long-time warrior. This voice of the general, he played by Lubad. Oh! In Raja's Den, the Big Bang Theory. Oh! He also played Julian Bashir's dad in Deep Space Nine. <laughs> if I'm thinking of the correct actor. A Star Trek actor. The Omega Star. <laughs> now I feel like I'm back. Strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Hmm. Ooh, I'll take those credits. Ooh. Some of my men. Oh. Oop. Ah, crap. You take care of that. Oop. Um. Wait, did that blow up one of ours? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Get that shield. Aria, can ya? Oh, shoot. close to the rendezvous. Let's move. Yeah, I need more. Need more ammo. Oh, could have gone that way. Ooh. A lot of little treats lying around. Oh, no. I'm sorry if the explosion blew you up. Blame your boss, not me. Ooh. I 
know that thing. It looks like a gang tag. The Talon. They used to deface my property, too. Gotta be ballsy to deface Arya's stuff. She'll skin you alive. Talent symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. Mm. Tima? The enemy of my enemy is my questionable friend? Anything? Nope. All good. Okay. Actually, can I? Nope. Can't go that way. Oh, one of my soldiers by the force field. How long till they die? Don't touch it. Don't what touch it. What the hell it. is he doing? Oops. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that didn't take long. Ooh. Out. Ooh. Nasty thing. Those right. mechs are coming through the force field. What can we do about those? Stand still, you piece of shit! Tell her to do it. Need to check out that force field. Yeah, it's one thing it's a force Over field here, to keep Shepherd. things out, it's another uses it to fry your Poor skin. Idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. This way. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Ooh. Down the ladder. Okay, just want to make sure I'm not... Nope. Okay, we're good. Trigger finger. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Aria Talo. A female Turian? Nyrene, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels, my tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. <laughs> you two must be close. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna take that well. But that's cool, though. I was wondering when we were gonna finally meet a female Turing, because it's just, I know it's military, but it's like, it's been all guys. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. <laughs> that is true, yes. I, I, you're correct. I shouldn't judge it based on gender. Depending on, uh, 
different cultures, maybe women are more suited to military service in some than others. We don't know. But that is interesting how, like, I assume with Turian military, it was mostly, like, a male-dominated thing, just because that's all we've kind of seen up until now. So this is, this is nice. I like this. So why are you Ooh. back? Hold up. I gotta give Nyreen some powers. She's got a lot of powers as well. Okay, let's give her full Turian Huntress. That way she's set to party. Weapon damage... Biotic power dam- ooh, she has biotics! Ooh. Just never, never bothered to create a model for female turning up till now. Ah. But see, when you do that, you create an expectation of, like, how a culture works. Power damage. Okay. Ooh, do we want to be like full biotic? Because I feel like Arya's kind of got that covered. Let's go for tech damage. And. Here we go. Lift grenades, good. Let's get everything up to three. Ooh, biotic protector. Shield that protects against all damage at the expense of moving, shooting, or using powers while it is enabled. I mean, good for recuperating, I suppose. Overload. Oh, we're maxing this one out. Additional target. Increased damage by 30%. Capacitate weaker organic enemies for a short duration. Increased recharge speed. Increased damage by 15%. Hit one additional target within 8 meters with 60% less damage. Increased damage to barriers and... Oh, we're going with that one. No question. Ooh, incinerate. I do like incinerate. Damage by 30. Increase impact radius. Now we'll go with that. 40% over 8 seconds. Recharge speed. Ooh. What's this last one? Frozen chill targets. Increase damage to armor tar- Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna go for recharge and then armor. Mode. And then 9. Let's go for lift grenade. Damage, impact rate, damage. Oh, this is gonna be our last one. Grenade capacity by two. Okay, I think we're good. Maria, to reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something, everything. They took everything from me. Oh, that's a lot of credits. Ooh, um, no, nah, I'm gonna continue with what I have. Doing pretty well with the medic. Arya, you were right. We're under attack. What's the fleet status? Still landing inside the bunker. Okay, keep here, the just... enemy out. Lock it down now. Lower blast doors. Lower the blast doors. Okay, I'm gonna. Suppressor. Let's give her the eagle. Accuracy. And damage. What can we give her? A Geth pulse rifle. Why not? Let's go for it. There we go. Capacity. Lightweight, but not by much. Accuracy goes up. Actually, wait. Oh, weight went up. Yeah, let's go for that. Why not? Let's go for some melee. New girl squad. Oop. Sounding a little dicey up there. Something's jamming up. Trying to identify. Okay. Flank the enemy. Get them off you.
All right, let's get some overload. Here, can you? Over and he was instantly gone. And you. Where, is, where the heck are you going? Is he running away? Take care of him. Got him. Hey. Didn't see you there. All right. for him. Alright. Uh, we got one guy over this way. Got a whole whack of them over that way. Keep the general's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. Sorry, I didn't want to miss a minute of this. <laughs> Sorry. 
spring allergies, gotta love them. We're in, lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the General's clued in? Yeah. I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyrene, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. A fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Man, it is complicated with them, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Irene has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? Yep, and that's Irene me. never <laughs> approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Bray, keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. So messy. Yeah, try your best to keep an eye on her. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Oh, okay, so this is the breather in the DLC. I'm assuming. Not liking those guns there, not gonna lie. setting up combat ships, so pay attention to the roster updates. We also want some supplies coming. This is me saying make every damn shot count. Once we get eyes on other parts of the station, some of you will be sent to scout for supplies. Yeah, they got buckets full of ammo lying around. No so I'm gonna take a guess, just based on kind of what no use holding back here. Uh, chat had kind of mentioned before that... Everyone's got something to say to me. Um, I get the feeling we wouldn't be able to finish the DLC tonight. I imagine that's a pretty safe bet. Imagine she's got people watching after me, too. Can I go from here, or...? Get the feeling the answer is no. There's a couple of breaks. One more try. Crap. What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. Mm -hmm. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Assist the mechanic. Finally. Where are you? Oh, you don't know? Like... Seriously? <laughs> Look, just check your Omni tool for the station schematics. What do you mean your Omni tool is broken? Ruck, that's not good. I. Right. I'm not helping you. Sorry. Look, I'll just talk you back to the bunker, okay? Oh, that's nice. 
Where's Arya? When you can spare some time, Commander. What is it? I've been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus-controlled areas, and... Well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough. Good. I'll keep an eye on my board and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. Sorry, she sounded kind of familiar. I was like, mmm. Supplies are gonna be tight. If we hadn't lost that shipment, you mean if we hadn't lost that ship and those people? Well, yeah. This way. This area is still unsecured. Off limits for now, Commander. All right, all right. That's it. Everything we have is prepped and ready. It's not much. We get out some scouts to keep an eye out for medical supplies. I thought about it, but I doubt Bray would go for that. Oh. You talk to the scouts. I'll handle Bray. Oh, it's another way in. Okay. Just a reminder, Commander. When you find Cerberus terminals, please input my access code. Thank you. Sure. So am I pretty much locked into panels. the DLC? I'll cross-reference with my station schematics to try and figure out where you are. Like, can I, I head back to the Normandy from what? here, or is it just like Rock straight shot and just keep going with the DLC? No, I'm not joking. There's nothing remotely funny about this. Oh, oh, I can. can get lost like that. You don't even know how you do it. Oh, yes, hey, DLC. Okay. I'm just saying, as skills go, that one's pretty impressive. Arya wants to talk to you. All right. Well, we'll talk to Arya then. I was looking around to see if there was maybe maybe a way to head back, but in for the long haul. All right, let's go for it. Why? As not? how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I mean, narratively, it makes sense that I'd be locked in. I see. You can't just wander in and out, Shepard, Shep. Those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Makes sense. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. <laughs> Story of my life. We've confirmed there is <laughs> a never ending gang struggle. that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Let's try the first one. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Before we start thinking what about is the it? next one. I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's got to be here somewhere. Mm. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. I would shoot you right now. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. All right. Well, let's get to it. Got a lot to do. Good luck out there. Thank you. All right. Uh, what we had worked well last time. We'll continue. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. 
Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? They're cannon fodder. We're using them because they're the only game in town. Hmm. You're gonna let them know that? No. Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Commander, Cerberus forces are scrambling. Looks like an attack on the Talons. Yeah, boy. Judging from calm chatter, the priority target is in the area. Could be the Talon leader. Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Crates of red sand lying around like this. Maybe In they had something more important going on. Not the area. Top is the only thing that matters. Anything else can burn. See a folus? Here we go. I was gonna say, once I bring it down, how do I bring it back up? Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm gonna assume I can't get through here. that way. Okay, but, ooh, oh well, almost missed you. I can jump over the crates that we're blocking you. Oh, oh I can? What's in here? And I want to check that out then. See, I wasn't sure. That to me looked like uh, they don't want you to go any further than this. Ooh, you are correct. Thank you. Because there's options here? Okay. offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. Ooh, mission report. We're almost done scouting this location. The surveillance drones indicate the detention center is on par with the last one we hit, but something feels off with the patrol patterns that the display table's spitting out. I'd recommend another observation run before we try to extract the civilians. H. Anything else? Ooh, hello. That's not what I wanted you to do. Looks like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. There we go. Onwards and onwards. I don't want to say upwards because I don't know where we're going. Looks like the talons are given as good as they get. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that was a little disorienting. Any, any 
Crescent Senny. Ooh, yes. Aha. See, every time I feel silly, I'm checking a, a corner. I get rewarded every once in a while. Oh, boy. Understood. I'll take those. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Somebody was speeding down my street. They were revving that engine like crazy. Holy crap. Okay. Focus. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, uh, Alright, we got two more. Oh, hi. <laughs> I wish. Ooh, there they are. Uh, I think he flew around the corner. Oh, hello. There we go. I think we're good. Ooh. My influence over station systems has just extended by 77%, Commander. Nice. Thank you. Ooh, any other? Ooh, what's in there? Picking up everything. All right, let's move. Oop. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I can monitor any movement in sector 4 to 12 now. Okay. Okay, everything else is good. Alright, let's go. Uh, we're gonna have a fight once we get down here. Oh, that sounds like robot activity. I can't do the lock-on thing. I was trying to see if I could make them float. Nope, too far away.
keep tripping out the shield generator. Nope, okay. Okay, I'm hearing somebody. Oh, hello. It's, it's a very quick and efficient teamwork here. We're working well together. Anything new? Ooh. Thank you, Commander. I'm a friend to all Turians. I'm a friend to most Turians. I shouldn't say all of them, but there are some bad Turians. Trigger finger at the ready. What the? Back off! I don't think so. <laughs> Come on. Take care of the wounded and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. All right. Well, there we my, go. <laughs> my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... a new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. Oh, come on. Let's work together on this. I know things are going to get messy as soon as Cerberus leaves here, because there's going to be another power struggle, but at least Cerberus will be gone. That's a good thing. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. That's a generous offer. Aria, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. See, look, we're all friends here now. All right, then. Come with me. I you improved tell? your biotics since last I saw you. You notice the biotic grenade? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Aw, it's so much fun. Why wouldn't you? Anything else here? No. Okay, then we will proceed. Oh, I guess the door will be this way. <laughs> so, uh, about that weather, huh? Oof. Oh, thank God. Rampart mechs incoming. Alright. Can you take care of those? Shut down imminent. Failure imminent. I'll punch in detecting system failure. Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Love for that smoke to clear up. Okay. Can we see him yet? Here, can we? Yet? Yeah. Jeez. Smoke is not helping us here. see a single thing in front of me. Man, I am cleaning up for credits here. Ooh, I did not think I was going to make that jump. Oh, really? <laughs> I feel like that could have been helpful earlier. Uh, worth keeping around, or use it on the next thing that runs into us? Ladies, coming. I don't remember there being this many elevators. way. Alright. Got a little tricky there. Oh, spooky dark. Don't like spooky dark. Really? How am I... Uh, oh. Thank you. She's like, oh my god, you're such a moron. Jump up here, Jesus, chef. I know when you're going up the ladder, it's the Metal Gear. <laughs> what, what if it's a bunch of going down ladders? What is the song for going down a bunch of ladders? Ooh. Mm. I hope you're not afraid of heights. I am, but thanks for asking. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hmm. How far will this shoot? Sure. Actually, <laughs> Arya, I'm target I I think I took care of them. Oh no, there's more. more. What the heck am I carrying? Oh, here we go. I'm like, that's not my matok. Come on, I know you're there. Take 
or somebody. Is, but <laughs> okay <laughs> it's not you glitch ah boy lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows how to go down anymore Nirene to base need an engineer to cap off entrance doors jammed again oh hello this may take a moment Best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. Okay. Door bypass. All right, it's still going. Okay. Any on the ground here? I don't think so. to jet before we finish that. I think we probably got them. <laughs> you just want to keep firing. It's good to see you, boss. Giving a good old salute. Hello. Evening. think we're doing quite well for just three. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. That's a nice little hideout. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. Mm. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Oh, cool zombies. Some kind of Reaper based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. Oh, boy. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs. 
then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. It's understandable. Okay. Let's take a look. See hey, Commander. Happened. I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. All in a day's work. Ooh. <laughs> don't don't like those rumbles. Just reported into the boss. Still no adjutants. Thank the spirits for that. Nah, it's only a matter of time. There hasn't been any others since that dock worker turned, right? Look, I know you're new to this outfit, but get used to the adjutant watch. It was only one of those things last time, and Cerberus still had to seal shut an entire ward to deal with it. They didn't even try to help the people trapped inside. I... I can't imagine what their last moments must have been like. Trust me, you hear any weird, creepy whispering, you grab your friends, and you run. Oh no, they whisper. I don't know what's worse, that or the screaming from the banshees. Okay, next pit stop before heading out again. The next act, you'll be introduced to Cerberus's new abomination. Oh no. Okay. Oh boy, I love those. And by I love those, I mean I get scared really easily. And I hate them. <laughs> but I'm sure it's probably entertaining for you. So that's something for you to look forward to. Scouting Team E from Base 2. Word is the attack on the station was led by Arya, and she's on board now. Boss is heading off to investigate. Try to stay out of trouble while she's gone and don't get caught. Our forces are tied down right now, so rescue options are limited. Level. <laughs> Cerberus Ooh. is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next Shoot. attack. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene. But I'll be taking over now. Uh-oh. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Mm. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyrene, watch and learn. Oh, this is getting messy. As everything's in place, the entire station's connected. People of Omega. I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. <laughs> Bunch of you dirty cannot rotten be scoundrels. And you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! Cut the feed. That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! I mean, if what they want to stay and fight, that's their choice. Trying? The people of Omega, my people, love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Ah, oh, you're weaponizing Cerberus her kindness. Is launching another offensive. No, Looks like, like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. We'll take care of this. 
and then I didn't mean to click to continue. That was my bad. I think about it. Arya lost Omega because she blew up when Cerberus invaded MacArthur completely screwed up in the defense of the Philippines. Okay. Got it. Wait, is this a breathing spot? Ooh, hello. Yes, I got the inverter. Okay, actually, can we stop here? Oh, we can stop here. Okay, so we'll take this as a point to stop. I apologize. I probably should have stopped when uh, we had that little breathing space there, but I hit the space bar when I wasn't supposed to. So that kickstarted this whole mess. But don't worry, because we are going to pick up... Okay, I'm just waiting for that save. We're going to pick up in the next stream. Because <laughs> unfortunately, we have hit our time for tonight, but I get the feeling we'll probably finish Arya's DLC in the next stream, I feel like. I don't know, like, have I made good progress in it? I have never played this before. So I'm a, I feel like I've made good progress. I feel like we've done quite well. We were a little bit late starting into it tonight just because we had to go around the Normandy, see how everybody was doing. I had to comfort Liara a little bit. Think so? Okay, I'll, I'll trust you on that. So thank you so much for joining me for another fun Mass Effect 3 stream. We're gonna be picking up on Monday at 7.30. If anything changes between now and then, Twitter down below, we'll be sure to let you know and it'll have all the details on the next stream. Oh, the halfway point. Okay. So if it took us this long to get to the halfway point, I'm pretty confident we will finish this DLC in the next stream. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like I'm making good progress. So far, so good. Next section is a little longer. Okay. All right. Well, we will have a solid two hours to make a dent in it. So hopefully that'll finish it. If we got to go over a little bit. So be it. But until then, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week, a lovely weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for some more Mass Effect 3 where we finish off Arya's DLC and try and get Omega all straightened out. Could be scary times, so hopefully you'll join me and keep me comfort through the scariness. <laughs> until then, have a good one. See ya.